Hey guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. You guys all know this, the Nexus Pro, right? One of the probably best guns of 2020, in my opinion. Some are right in there as well, of course, with its kind of baby brother, the Aeon Pro. Um, you know, ever since these blasters came out, I think, you know, to me, they really redefined performance for value. Uh, this particular blaster, as you guys already know, we've given these away multiple times. It comes in a huge kit, and you can pick this up for about 50 bucks at Walmart. Not too bad. And I mean, everything you get with this is crazy. And then the little brother, of course, the Aeon Pro, you can pick this one, I think, right up. It's about 25 bucks at Walmart. And again, it comes with a huge kit. If you guys are curious on those, again, you guys can check out the links over there. But this video is something a little bit different. You know, um, last year, a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do and hop up on these particular blasters was sold out or you had to wait a while or sometimes they're quite pricey depending on what you want to update. And there's a lot of cool things that I've seen people do and I'm like, yeah, man, I just don't want to spend more money than the blaster is worth on upgrades. So uh, I'm lucky enough to have a, a, a 3D printer here. Now, mine is nothing special. Mine is just a basic 3D printer, about $200 on Amazon, and you could use it for all kinds of stuff, right? And I get it. Some people are like, well, that's 200 bucks, you know? God. But you can print so much stuff with that. It is crazy. Now, we decided to print a few things, and that's what we're gonna kinda do, is print a few things and kinda show you guys and say, hey, if you guys had a 3D printer or you guys were thinking about it, here is some of the cool stuff you can do to kinda update your Nerf blasters without breaking the bank on some of these items. So, one of the things that we did with this, uh, the Nexus Pro, is you know, overall it's nice. I definitely want to redo this back here, this grip definitely, and then the front grip. But I kind of wanted to do it one step at a time. I just didn't want to print everything. So this front grip is great. You know, it feels good, but I don't know. It leaves a little bit to be desired. For me, it's a little small. Um, it has kind of a weird angle again on my wrist. Not too weird, but I needed something with uh, a little more of a grip substantially to it. So we checked this out online right here. We were able to find this thing on Th Thingiverse, and there is a bunch of these. Trust me, if you guys are looking for front adapters, um, and I'm going to leave it down in the description to where we got this particular one. And you know, I just want to show you guys what it looks like 3D printed and what it looks like on the blast before you print it, right? Because some of these things could take like nine hours depending on what you're doing and you don't want to waste your time right um you know waiting nine hours to print it so again the front the front piece up here it's it's good uh there's nothing wrong with it i just wanted to upgrade super easy to take on if you notice underneath yeah it's kind of the uh it's kind of a mini rail up there right now we were able to find two different versions of this um kind of the mini version which is about uh, about half an inch shorter uh both width and lengthwise so or height wise so depending on, again, on your hand size, you can kind of pick and choose which one you think is going to fit best. The bigger one took about, I think it's about eight hours, depending on how fast you're printing. And the smaller one took about six. And, you know, I had to print them laying down like this, right? That's one of the things that I always see that, you know, how are you going to print them? So I had to print mine laying down. So I still got a little bit of cleanup to do. But overall, I mean, once they're cleaned up, this piece is probably like a $30 piece, $20 piece. I mean, depending if you were to buy it. And I just kind of want to show you what they look like on the blaster. Now, check this out. I'll put this one on here. And I know I am missing the piece that goes inside that triangle right there, but I just kind of wanted to show you. Look at that. That looks just, just sick, being able to hold it. And that piece is big on there. God, I love that. I want to, gosh, I want to put that right in the screen. Look at that. That, I mean, that to me really makes this blaster just look crazy. That's why I want to get the matching, um, print out the grip for it, as well as the stock that I've seen. But I think that looks awesome. Just being able to hold it like this or like this, just having, you know, you know, something like this. But then I was like, okay, I get it. That might be a little big for some people. So I did print again, uh, the smaller version of it here, which is a little bit smaller, might be nicer for smaller nerfers or people who are more tactical. Look at that. Gosh, I just think that looks so crazy and it sets the whole front of the blaster off. It just looks great. Now, if you guys are really good at CAD and things like that, make up your own. I mean, you can. I just decided, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave all the work to someone else and just print it. But look at that! Oh man, this one also is is really, really good. You know, something like that. Oh man, just just pulling it back. That just feels really, really good in the hands. Look at that. Oops, let me <laughs> let me put it back. So it's gonna sit something like that. Once that little, once the little piece is right there in that little triangle. Gosh. So you guys can see why I'm so pumped up about you know, 3D printing some stuff and try to gearing up for, uh, you know, for battles that might be happening during the summer, especially for, you know, semi-lockdown or whatever the case is. But look at that. Again, 
um, I'm super excited to kind of bring you guys some of this stuff again to kind of show you what some of the stuff looks like in person, right? Because when you look at it online, you're like, oh, that's great. But what does it look like on the actual blaster? You know, save me the Xbox, save me the 10 hours of printing this. But um, there you go. I mean, I have no complaints about these. Again, in the description, I'll leave a link to where uh, I got these. So you guys can print a few of these of yourself if you guys have a 3D printer. Or again, if you guys are kind of on the shelf. Gosh, I can't stress enough how awesome that looks. That I just, oh man, look at that. Gosh, that just turns this blaster into one of my faves. One of my faves. But there you go, guys. This is, again, this is just a quick video to kind of show you, hey, here's some cool front adapters, grips that I've seen for the Aeon Pro. Uh, for, sorry, for the Nexus Pro and kind of what they look like and what they look like on the actual blaster to save, again, you guys some time. Let me know what you guys think. I'm always curious if you guys are out there 3D printing stuff yourself or if you're not. I don't know. Maybe you are. I'm always kind of curious because I definitely want to do more upgrades for this. I've seen the big long attachment on the top where it makes one long Pictini rail or a, a tactical rail. I don't know if I'm going to I don't know if I'm going to do that. I really want that, the grip and uh, the buttstock that I've seen. So we'll see. I don't know. We're going to see what's coming up. I just, again, just wanted to show you guys that. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Definitely, oh yeah, definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already. Make sure you guys get in on the giveaways too. Again, uh, we've given a few of these suckers away and I want you guys to win a couple of those too. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll give some of these things away too because we printed two of each and obviously I don't have eight or four uh, Nexus Pros. So thanks again, Fox fans. <laughs>